the producer do? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, I think there's, um, there's different kinds of producers, but generally like what I do as a producer is I just oversee a project, right? So like I'm, the, the buck stops at me and I'm responsible for it to sound awesome and be awesome. And I think there's a good sense of pressure. So I think the producer is, is a guy or a girl that is willing to take on the pressure and mm -hmm. to be in a place of steering the ship a hundred percent and mm. having that confidence to go there. Mm. And mm. Um, also, but also at the same time, like be a support, a mm. really good support system for mm. the artists. Right, right. And, and to be a good support system for songs. So that's kind of what it is. And, and yes, there's some engineering and there's some knobs and you get a, you know, we, we work in like, you know, a DAW, like Pro Tools or whatever, like a program right. and, right, right. you know, rec record audio and all this stuff. But right, there, a right. lot of it, a lot of it is just in here. And yeah, the, yeah. the recording part is more just like the byproduct of what's going on in here between the artist and the producer and Come on. the energy in the room and stuff like that. So. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome, man. So, so if I was to ask you the question, gear or vibe, which one you pick? What's that? Gear or vibe? Oh, vibe, hundred <laughs> percent. So because I, like, I know. Yeah. yeah no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, uh, I've worked out of studios, and even had my own studios that, that have been crazy decked out in gear and. Uh, I can't stand it because it starts to feel cluttery and it starts to feel like, man, there's too many options. So for me personally, uh -huh. and I'm not saying that's bad. I just think uh -huh. for me and how I work, I like more minimal mm. Um, mm. because it, it forces me to be creative with um, a fewer amount of things that are, that can mm. be powerful. Um, you know, we can go down rabbit holes still, but right. if there's too much for me, it just gets too cluttery and too many options. I'm like, I have I don't need all that. <laughs> so can somebody make an awesome song or an awesome record from their laptop and with an interface? Yeah. Oh my God, hundred percent. I mean, the some of the biggest songs, you know, like are done just like that, to be honest with you. Um, right. You know, and like I was just in Atlanta last week doing some stuff with the Mav City people and uh -huh. we we're, we we're in, I said, I brought like my mobile rig uh -huh. and just a computer interface and some speakers. And uh, one of actually is this mic, this uh -huh. SM7B. Yeah. I use this all the time. I have a couple. I love of them. that mic. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. So I have a couple of these here. <laughs> I think I have three of them here. But uh -huh. so this literally, and like the, the the artists we were working with, we we made an incredible song, start to finish. And like we we all wrote it together. There's like three of us. We wrote it and recorded it in I think an hour and a half. And let's go. you could just you could just feel <laughs> the energy. Is that thing. You can actually feel the energy in the room just like, mm -hmm. oh my God, this is so good. And everyone's excited. And we just kept passing the mic back and forth, but literally holding the microphone, uh -huh. not on a stand, not with like a big old thing. <laughs> and and it came out and it sounds incredible. Like it sounds perfect, you That's know? And crazy. so I have that and, you know, we have really expensive, nice mics we can use and all this stuff, but it's it's more for me again, it's more about the vibe. So. Right, right. So, 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 what would you tell um, you know those the students that want to be producers that maybe want to get into that and 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 produce records and make a living out of that? What are maybe two or three keys that you can give them that they could focus on? Yeah. Um, not get too wrapped up in technicalities. Like, mm -hmm. um, even like too much school can be bad for you. I feel like mm -hmm. a too much learning, like too much in a place of like information right, right like i have to get it pretty it actually clouds your judgment after a while and mm. i think mm. your mind and all that can get convoluted with just like you don't even know how to trust yourself and so i think yeah, learning yeah, how yeah. to trust yourself is the, mm. is the key but that comes from that comes from like i always give like people advice that ask that question like dude buy like minimal amount of stuff that you need to buy like laptop or like whatever and record your friends for free and and just use that as almost like your school because there's nothing like hands-on experience and so when you have right, like right, right. real songs to work on mm. you have you know real people you're working with it's not just a bunch of ideas it's like mm. oh no i'm gonna actually put myself in position that to, to mm. record something mm -hmm. it there's some magic there and it like forces mm. you to focus and it forces you to like mm -hmm. um get in that state and you just kind of naturally learn the more you do that 
Mm. And some people pick it up really fast. Some people it takes longer and it's all okay, I think. But I think just getting your feet like in the water like that is my advice. <laughs>